Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about text fields background. So, so far, uh, you have seen like, you know, there are a whole bunch of uh, modifiers that you can use uh, to modify a uh, text field. Uh, one of the things that uh, text field actually provides is um, uh, Swift UI itself, uh, if you look at definition, it has uh, the most basic pieces uh, included. So basically the intention is uh, that uh, Swift UI will provide uh, most of the uh, text field related functionalities within uh, the uh, view itself. And then for the, uh, for any other thing, like, you know, for example, background color, um, you can actually, instead of providing it as a part of text field view you can use your regular um, modifier uh, to do that so we're going to see just how we can actually set the uh, uh, background for our text view so uh, what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to use our last example but i'm going to copy this um, and uh, if you are following along, uh, go ahead and uh, type it up. I'm gonna leave it on the screen so you can pause the video right here and uh, basically just uh, copy it. I'm gonna remove all these uh, overlay ones because we are gonna be creating our background. So yeah, so this is what we need. Now, let's see. What did I make a mistake? Um, yeah. All right. Um, okay. So there was a mistake in, uh, in the copy. So let me make sure. Okay. And this is the view. All right. Perfect. Okay. So let me do it again. Maybe this time it's going to work for sure. So example eight and eight and there we go okay so i'm going to remove all the overlays okay and uh all right so now is the time to uh, uh take a uh basically pause the video and uh, uh copy this if you haven't been uh, following along and uh, once you're done uh, we can resume so i'm going to resume now so i'm going to go all the way to the back and i'm going to make sure the example 8 is being rendered in the preview and we're going to just um refresh our preview so i'm going to hit Control command p all right um wait a minute I don't know my oh control option p come on okay for some reason i'm messing up with my uh, with my shortcuts these days okay so um you have your uh, text fields uh, as you can see there is no background whatsoever right now okay so let's go ahead and add that so we're gonna use our background modifier and we're gonna supply the uh, color so for example, we can actually say it's going to be orange color and it's going to turn like, you know, the background to orange. And uh, let's try something. Um, we're going to try a gradient of orange and orange dot opacity 0.2. The unit point is going to be, I think, Let's do uh, top trailing, top leading, and bottom trailing, like that. Okay, so as you can see, uh, you can apply gradient background as well. Actually, I just found out myself because uh, I did not try this. I was like, okay, if it takes a, uh, so, so if you look at the background, it takes a shape style. That means like, you know, you can actually have uh, a shape defined so you can literally like you know basically um have it something like uh, so let me choose color dot pink and uh the new overload for background uh takes in 
uh, as a parameter, which is uh, your chance to provide uh, another shape if you want to. So let's say if I want to have a rounded rectangle um, or maybe a capsule, um, then I can actually do that. And this is gonna turn our text field into a uh, capsule view. Okay, now I know like, you know, the colors are a little bit hideous, so let me put um, some opacity into that. So it's actually gonna look a little bit better. Um, opacity is gonna be 0 0.5 maybe. That's perfect. And uh, opacity is gonna be 0 0.5. Okay, all right, so. As you can see, there are three different kind of backgrounds that we have actually created for our text uh, for our uh, text fields, and uh, uh, I know for some reason my uh, my preview is not allowing me to type these things. So let me go ahead and try to run this example in the simulator, and uh, I will pull it up. Let's see Xcode. Okay. All right, um, this is strange. Let me kill this guy and uh, let's try it again. So build succeeded. Now it's waiting for our simulator to launch. Okay, so let me pause the video until the time simulator launches and I will be resuming the video as soon as the app is launched. All right, so app is launched and uh, here we have the app. And uh, now, as you can see, we can actually type so uh -oh. and this is our another one uh, let's say category is select UI and this is the third one video course so as you can see our uh, our background is working fine and we can see for all three cases we can very well see our text or content that's being typed okay so yeah so you can actually use the background modifier uh, good old background modifier to basically set the background for your text field you just gotta remember uh, that when you're setting this your user uh, is basically able to see the content and type the content okay so uh, so yeah so this is uh, it for uh, this video thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in another video thank you